Hey everyone, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a layout for the Cut Shop design team and I'm going to be using this freebie cut file that you can get on the website and it says too cool for school. I cut it out on some American Crafts white textured cardstock and backed it with this 6x6 paper pad from Doodlebug Design and it's one of their new collections called School Days. And I'll make sure that I leave everything linked down below for you guys if you're interested in any of the products, you can check them out. Here are the photos I'm going to be using and um, they are of our son, Eli James. I have a bunch of products here from the same Doodlebug collection. I'm just kind of flipping through to show you guys. And I thought I was gonna use this 12 by 12 piece of paper, but I don't end up using it. Um, so I'm just gonna set it here for a minute and then I'll get rid of it. I'm gonna take the cut file that I have already backed and I'm gonna add some of this scotch um, foam tape um, all over the back of the cut file just to give it a little bit of dimension. And I really, really like this um, foam tape. It's pretty thin, uh, but it does give a little bit of height. So I'm gonna get this stuck down and then position my photos and start to embellish the layout. This is one of the Freebie Friday cut files and you can get them on the website. Also, um, I'll leave it linked um, down below and then also if you check out the blog post, it'll be linked there. Uh, make sure that you guys also sign up for the Cut Shop newsletter. There are always or usually is a freebie cut file that you can only get in the newsletter and there's nowhere else you can get it. And if you see it, post the, like the, the cut file used and that newsletter has already gone out, you can't get the cut file. So sign up for the newsletter because the um, freebie cut files in there are awesome. Um, I've had some people message me like, where can I get that file? And it's like, I'm sorry, you can't get it anymore. You gotta sign up for the newsletter. So sign up for the newsletter because the freebies and all the inspiration and um, updates and news and all that stuff, it's jam-packed newsletter from the cut shop. So make sure you sign up. I'll leave a link to the newsletter uh, down below so you guys can sign up for that. I'm gonna add a border strip from this 12 by 12 sticker sheet, one at the bottom and one at the top. And then I did get my photos adhered with um, some foam tape as well. So I just made a little collage from the app on my phone. I think it's PicFrame um, and then added the four photos and then just printed it out on a four by six and then uh, trimmed it down. I'm gonna pull out some of the odds and ends and the chit chat pieces from the Doodlebug collection and get those added to the layout. I have this little green bubble here and it says first grade. I also pull out um, some of the Doodlebug sprinkles. They're super cute. There are some apples, um, of course, the Doodlebug sprinkles, um, just the round um, like enamel dots. And then there are some little school supplies that are, are enamel. There's some stars. Really, really cute pieces in this collection. It's a great collection for back to school. Um, any school documenting, there's like science fair type things. There's sports icons. There's um, like the school bus and all the school supplies. There's um, things for like first day, school pictures, teacher, all kinds of stuff. So you'll be seeing more of these um, layouts using this collection from me because I'm going to document each one of the kids, um, their back to school photos. So. Back to the layout, I'm just adding some more embellishments around the layout, adding foam adhesive to them. I'm using a lot of the stickers from the, the smaller sticker sheet, the icons right there. They're a smaller scale um, and they work really well for this layout. So I'm gonna create two little embellishment clusters, um, one next to each photo. So one of them, I have the little first grade uh, speech bubble, and then I have a little pack of crayons and a little piece of paper. Um, I'll also add one of the enamel um, sprinkle stars and then a card stick or a die cut star. On the other side, I'm gonna end up putting the little school bus that I have there, um, a little spiral notebook, a heart from the 12 by 12 sheet. Um, I had green on the right hand side, so I wanted to put a little bit of green on the left hand side. I do a calculator as well, and then another two other stars on that side. Um, I didn't use any green except for the green that was in the patterns of um, that I used to back the cut file. So I did add, I really wanted to use that first grade on the layout and that was green. So I had to make sure that I put green on the left side and then I do have a little green apple 
that I will add. Um, it's going to be peeking out of um, behind that letter L. So there's three different parts or different spots where there's green, but there's also green in a couple of the papers um, of the patterns, like the busier patterns behind the cut file, like the ones that have like the bunch of rainbow colors. Um, so hopefully it all looks good together. Um, so I'm just going to continue adding the different um, embellishments to the layout. I do pop a lot of these up with foam dimensionals. There's that little banner there that says first day of school. And I really like that position right there in the center. I do pull out the little red um, sprinkle there. It's an enamel sprinkle and I put it there in the center of the R. And then for one of the O's there at the top, I used the little um, roll of tape and it's the same color um, paper, the same color as the paper that it, the cut file. Behind the cut file, my goodness, I can't talk today. So here I'm working on this left hand, um, the left side of the layout and getting that cluster put together. I did have it set one way and I ended up pulling it up and switching it up a little bit because there was a little space that I didn't like. So I wanted to fill it up with something else. So I ended up sticking that calculator down there. So I have this little glue bottle here. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the green apple there tucked in behind the letter L. The glue bottle, I'm gonna end up moving up by the T and then I'll end up sticking a little yellow star um, down there by the C. The last thing I do is add my journaling. This layout came together fairly quickly once the cut file was backed. Um, I use my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter to add the journaling along the bottom of the layout. And it just talks about Eli James' first day, um, his school, his teacher, and then what grade he's in. I really love to use my typewriter and just cutting strips and adding them to my layout. And I just use my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive to get that stuck down. It is, I think it's a little crooked, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I was trying to get it as straight as I, I could, but I think it's just a little bit off, but that's okay. So I got that stuck down. And then I'm going to go in and add some stars here at the end. I'll add a star to each side, um, a yellow one on the right, and then a red one on the left. And I think this is where I go in and... Um, pull out the little embellishment that I have there, the little cluster, and I go and add in the little calculator sticker. And I pop that up on some foam adhesive. So there's a the little calculator. I'm going to get him some foam adhesive and get him stuck down. And then I will go back and add the little star and then the other little enamel star that I have there stuck to my Nuvo glue. That pretty much finishes up the layout. I'll leave the cut file and the blog post, everything else linked down below so you guys can check it out. Make sure you check out this collection from Doodlebug Designs. It's super, super cute and I love the primary colors. Um, I have still shots for you guys at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to hit that bell so that you guys receive notifications when I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.